Each year, more than 50 people lose their lives on the roads of Tyne and Weir, and over 500 people are seriously injured. Road Respect is a campaign seeking to make those changes to promote safer roads, better driving, more respect amongst road users, and above all, to save lives. Just have a quick check for any SRS in their place. Are there house fires or are these started to be the majority? Medication? No. RTCs nowadays uh, tend to be uh, tend to be more of them, I would say, than uh, than house fires. And certain... RTCs being road traffic. Road traffic collisions. The plan is we're going to get rid of this door. Yeah. We could call, be called seven times in a week. You never know when an accident is going to happen. Everybody that gets in a car believes they're not going to be in an accident. No. No. But you might be in the car with the best driver in the world. The worst driver in the world might hit you. Well, every instance you, you get to, your training takes over, and that's what you rely on. You just rely on your training. Um, any emotions you, you, you may experience, you, you put it to one side and you just get on with the job. The way we take people out is the safest way we can. If you hit the windscreen at 30 miles an hour, it's like falling out of the building, a three story building. If a casualty becomes unconscious and we need to get them out, then the finesse and the uh, and the time scale is reduced. You might turn up at the scene and it might be carnage. It might be limbs torn off. It might be decapitations. It might be a lot of body fluids about. You've got to keep your head screwed on. It's like anything. It gets the adrenaline going even more than it, than it is. Um, but it, it also makes you think even even more about what you've got to do um, because we want to get you out as quickly as we can, as safely as we can. It'll be planned in about five minutes, okay, we'll be off in about ten. How do you separate emotionally from what you're seeing? Uh, sometimes it's very hard to do that. Uh, there's, there's been a couple of jobs, uh, but I think the worst ones are with children and children involved because I've got children myself. There was a, um, a grandmother killed with a couple of little babies involved as well and that was just after her granddaughter had been born. I went to one house and all of the family, it was quite a large family, they were all crowded into the living room because I knew I was coming. And the whole place was a shrine to the loved one that had tragically died. Can you tell if someone's on the phone? Can you tell if other sort of distractions may have caused oh, yes. that? Uh, the te there's technology now to identify whether somebody's been on their mobile phone at the time of the collision. One, two, three, I've dealt with an accident with a 19-year-old uh, girl. She was texting. Quiet road, uh, dual carriageway, nothing else on it except the one car she managed to hit. The woman was doing nothing wrong, going to pick her sister up from the airport. Uh, all her family said goodbye, looking forward to seeing the yep. family member coming back from holidays, of course, and it ended tragically. And that girl at 19, is doing three and a half years in prison for it. Yeah. I'm David. I'm going to take over control. Okay. Left hand on, right hand on, I have the head. Yeah. Are you check stability, Matt. I didn't expect to have that sort of impact. I just didn't realise it was going to affect me that much. And I couldn't help but thinking that if there was, you know, if I've just run someone over, I'm obviously injured and terrified. At the same time, I don't, I don't know how people get over that sort of thing. I, I also don't know. I've, I've, Fortunately, I've never had an accident uh, myself, and uh, hopefully, I'll never, never will have one. That was a terrifying experience, and even though you feel very supported by the fact that you've got ten firemen, it's the fact that glass is being broken right in front of you, and I just you're putting yourself in a real life situation. And I know it's something that you just generally see on movies. But I've just got images of car crashes of people that I know that have had car crashes and it's not nice. It's adrenaline, like, it's adrenaline rush. It's a complete adrenaline rush, but not for an exciting reason, you know, as if you're at a fairground, right? This is serious stuff, but I was in good care, that I know. Cars are good fun, but they're also very dangerous and need to be treated with ultimate respect. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. for what you're doing all the time.